hopes were sky high for Israel's mission to the moon and it was all going so well until... We seem to have a problem with our main engine. Disappointment clearly building among the team who were watching every move, but it wasn't to be. We had a failure in the spacecraft. We unfortunately have not managed to land successfully. We are the seventh country to orbit the moon and the fourth to reach the moon's surface. And uh, it's a tremendous achievement up to now. Israel's prime minister also tried to lift their spirits. If at first you don't succeed, you try again. <laughs> the spacecraft called Bereshit, Hebrew for Genesis, launched back in February as the first privately funded mission to the moon. The plan for a soft landing on the lunar surface to conduct experiments. It follows the likes of Virgin Galactic and Elon Musk's SpaceX, which just succeeded in delivering a satellite into orbit for the rocket's first paying customer bringing commercial space travel one step closer to reality. It's still expensive because this is space, but showing private companies, showing private individuals that they can make a contribution to scientific satellite missions, to scientific space missions, research missions, I think this is a real, a real turning point. Two of the world's most famous astronauts also said there was still plenty to celebrate with this mission. Britain's Tim Peake tweeting... Disappointing that Bereshit didn't make it safely to the surface of the moon, but Team Space IL have much to be proud of. And the iconic moonwalker himself, Buzz Aldrin, said, Condolences to the Bereshit lander for what almost was. Never lose hope. Your hard work, teamwork and innovation is inspiring to all. And the spacecraft did manage to capture this selfie just before crash landing. So while a trip to the moon may be a long way from home, astronomers say there's always next time to make it in one piece. Miranda Shunker, 5 News.